In Tallahassee, Florida, on the campus of Florida State University, is the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory. It is here where you'll find the world's biggest and most powerful magnet, rated at 45 Tesla, meaning the magnetic field it generates is a million times greater than that of the Earth. It is a powerful research tool for every field of scientific endeavor. Well, the mission of the laboratory, the primary mission, is to conduct science at very high magnetic fields. The main reason that we seek out these very, very high fields are much the same reason we might measure things at very high temperatures or very low temperatures, very extreme conditions. When you move to new areas, just like Captain Kirk and Captain Picard, when you go where no one has gone before, you are bound to learn some new things. The magnetic field of 45 Tesla is the result of combining the power of a giant electromagnet and a nitrogen and helium-cooled superconducting magnet. The magnet is so powerful, it can actually levitate materials that you wouldn't expect to react to magnetic fields. It's able to do this because of the fact that on an atomic level, everything demonstrates some kind of reaction to a magnet. An element like iron will be attracted to it, which means it's ferromagnetic. Most elements are repulsed, meaning they are diamagnetic, and that force is very weak. How do we actually see this diamagnetic force in, in real life? Well, we can use a very, very large electromagnet like uh, similar to the one in back of us. Perhaps the most dramatic demonstration of this kind of magnet's power is what it can do with an ordinary frog. Frogs are 90% water and water is diamagnetic. And let's imagine what happens when we bring a frog near the center of a high magnetic field region. When we do this, the diamagnetic force on the frog gets larger and larger. It may look like the frog is in water, but it's not. The intensity of the magnetic field being generated is canceling out the force of gravity. The frog is levitating in air. As remarkable as this may seem, this is a mere sideshow for the scientists who come to NHMFL. A lot of what is known as big science comes out of this kind of research. But one of the biggest breakthroughs the development of the MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, happened while science was, in a manner of speaking, looking the other way. 